Well, hello, my little terribles. Commander Q here with you. Welcome to the vlog. You know, these vlogs sort of pop up out of nowhere because consistency is not really like our strong suit or anything. And every time they pop up, it's like we're in a different place. So where are we today? Philadelphia. Check it out. This is Walnut Street, 13th and Walnut, if you're familiar with the area. And, uh, yep. Exactly like you'd expect for a city. It is very big. There is a lot of people here. The traffic, we actually had to drive here to get to our hotel. The driving here is absolutely nuts. And uh, I'm very much a introverted, like keep to myself kind of guy and being around all these people and all this activity and all these buildings, I'm freaking out a little bit. So, but today, what I wanted to show you is, we're gonna go check out a famous national landmark. We're gonna go check out the Liberty Bell. Let's go ring this thing. Walking on. Hey look, it's Kia Kildring in Philadelphia. Hey look, it's Agent IQ. What do you got over here, eh? I do not know that. That looks like some kind of original foundation. We don't know what though. There's signs over there, but they got us like kind of cordoned off, so we'll have to check it out on the way out. What do you think so far of Philadelphia? Okay. Alright. So over there in the background is the Independence Visitor Center. A whole bunch of big buildings, and then this is the center where the Liberty Bell is. We have a huge long line to get in here to check it out. So big line, the good part is, it is free. And so we wait. All right, so we waited in the security section for kind of a long time, about a half hour to get in here through all the metal detectors. And this hall back here is a bunch of different exhibits and things about the Liberty Bell. But what happens when you get to the end of this section? The Liberty Bell. And there's the big crack in it itself. So they have it set up here as this exhibit and display. And there she is. funny is as we asked Agent IQ about this and we said do you know the significance of this he's like no we just learned about it as a landmark in school all right so we got half of it down but now he gets to see it in person so I guess that's kind of cool too right there he is let's go track him down IQ did you figure out what this is for yet um, yes it was a religion from our freedom no no key what is it it's a symbol yes of us fighting for liberty and justice. Yeah. It was used heavily in the World War I era. Cool. So, across the street, down the block and across the street from the Liberty Bell Center is the Independence Hall Visitor Center, which is where we are now. And then here again, they have some more exhibits and they have a store, but this is definitely a place where you'd want to come and check out things about the history of Philadelphia and the Bell. And then you have all this other good stuff over here. Now what we're trying to find after this is we're trying to locate the where the, the building where the Constitution was signed because I think it's uh, about a block over outside. It's hard in the city because it's so like, confusing where all these streets are. I can't figure this whole thing out so I don't know. I've lost key and IQ and not really the city to lose people in. We'll find them. We'll find them. Look, it's rocky. You need proper management. Proper management. Right. 
we decided to head back to our hotel because we couldn't check in till three, but we left our stuff there in the luggage check area, so they have our stuff. We need uh, we need to go rest for a while. I think in the last three days with trying to get ready and finishing work and travel, and a, uh, it's hard to sleep on an airplane overnight even though you do your best. I think uh, Kia Killjoy and I have managed each about six hours of sleep over the past three days. And I'm at the point where I think I'm starting to gray out. I'm not even sure where I am half the time. I think I'm in Philly. But either way, we need to go get checked in, get rested. Now what we signed up for tonight is a tour of the city by double-decker bus. Pretty sure it's going to be freaking cold. So we're going to have to layer up, show you some sights about that. But overall, here in Philadelphia, a lot of historical things going on. The city's huge and there's really a lot to do. Something we're trying to work out is figuring out a Philly cheesesteak because those are lovely. And then after that, show you some sights. That's where we're going to roll from there. No clue where I am. Yeah. The Holiday Inn Express here on Walnut Street in Philadelphia has been a very interesting experience, but they have coffee around the clock, which works out well for me because I need to go rest, need to go take a nap. But the thing is, is that they have decaf. And I'm not a super big fan of decaf, but in a pinch it'll work. So thus far, it's got your usual amenities. I mean, it seems like it's right here in the historic district. And, you know, it's like, it has like an older classic feel to it. And it's weird because it's almost like that Star Wars thing where they got like the really old buildings with things that are like brand new in it. Like that used universe look, they call it. And as I'm walking around, I'm like, this building was built like in the 1800s or something. You know there's, you know, there's a couple floors in here that are haunted. You know, my, my covers are going to come flying off of me at some point, don't you? Yeah. It's going to be crazy. So, I'm going to get back up to my room. Get some rest. And then later tonight, I told you we're taking a tour. I'm going to show you that. And then, if any luck and all goes well, we're going to go get some Philly cheesesteaks. Because that's sort of a, a rite of passage here in Philadelphia. There's a lot of good food on the East Coast. That I, it's the only thing I really do miss from the time I used to live out this way. And maybe some cheesesteaks. Yeah. Okay, rest, then I'll show you where we end up, or where we land after that. So before I showed you, before I signed off, this is the view out our window. We're at the 10th floor of the Holiday Inn Express on Chestnut Street. And, uh... Yeah, so everything of interest is like in a 15 minute walking radius. Room over here is you know, just your standard room. Pretty nice though. Gotta get working. But before that, 